Hey, welcome to that innovation production. Now recently I got involved in making music with my computer. And today I'm going to show you how you can actually have a, a system on the go when you're out and about. So I'm going to show you how to connect a MIDI keyboard here to your Android phone. Now this works with most MIDI keyboards that have a USB connection. The one I've got here is the Arturia Mini Lab MK2. So what you need is a MIDI keyboard, an Android smartphone, and what they call a USB OTG cable. So it's either a micro USB connection or like this one, it's a USB Type-C connection that goes into your phone. Then it's got a port here for a regular USB cable. What you also need is this cable here, which is like a, a splitter or a Y cable. It's got two USB male connectors here, one here and one goes into a power bank and the other connects to the cable that comes out of your MIDI controller. So you do need a standard power bank uh, that charges uh, 5 volt devices. So to recap, a MIDI controller keyboard, an Android smartphone, a USB OTG cable, you've got a splitter cable and you've got a power bank and I'll include links uh, to purchase these items down below if you're interested. So next thing you want to do once you've connected everything is you want to have FL Studio Mobile 3 uh, installed. That, that's the software I chose because I think that's the most popular uh, Android uh, digital audio workstation that lets you connect your MIDI controller to your Android smartphone. Okay, here I've got the FL Studio Mobile already installed. Now it does cost you uh, over in Australia $13, $13.50. Um, the price will be different in the US but cheaper and it varies across different countries. So once you've installed that, you want to tap into it. Now I won't go too much into how you navigate the FL Studio Mobile software. You can read up on it or you can watch other YouTube videos. But what you can, what you should do first of all is tap this right corner here. And what that will show you is a few different options. So you've got songs, you've got settings, you've got shop to buy new um, instruments and you've got files. You tap into settings and you go to media device. Under media device, if you tap there, now it's really showing Arturia because I've already installed it. If you tap into it, it will either say any available or the name of your particular MIDI controller. So you tap in onto your MIDI controller and that becomes your controller for that. To start playing your instrument into FL Studio Mobile, you have to add a new instrument. So you go to plus to add a track and then you choose uh, direct wave is all the instruments are included in the FL Studio Mobile by default. Direct Wave, let's say go to keyboard, go to grand piano. There you go, that's how you connect your MIDI controller to your Android phone using FL Studio Mobile. Thanks for watching.